All right, let's talk a little bit about Nick Nurse because he is also um, connected with the Suns. Obviously, it's these two, 1A and 1B, who I think everyone has been talking about since the news of Monty being out as the Suns head coach. Mm -hmm. I like Nick Nurse. He also has that championship experience that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Is there any concerns with him? I feel like there's a little bit more of a concern with Nick Nurse than there is with Ty Lue. There definitely is. And I, and I think you look at the way his Raptors tenure ended. Um, he has a reputation of being a little bit of a hard ass. And I know a lot of Suns fans are eager for someone like that who's a little has a little bit firmer of a hand than Monty Williams, who was very much, you know, culture, love, we're a family, that type of thing. Um, and I get it. But Nurse rubbed a couple of his players the wrong way by constantly being that way. Uh, he has a reputation for playing his starters really heavy minutes, um, which we saw that in the playoffs with KD and Book. But for a whole regular season, that will add up, especially if the Suns are not able to flesh out their depth in meaningful ways. Um, and not to mention KD is getting older. Right. And we've had to rely on Devin a lot mm -hmm. in recent, well, since Devin really since, took over the franchise, <laughs> yeah, to be completely since honest. 2015. Since 2015. Since his sophomore <laughs> season. Yeah. Um, that's not something that you definitely want to put on the shoulder of your two main guys, especially no. leading up to the playoffs. So that's a big concern. It is. And I, and I do think Nurse would do a great job. He's a very smart head coach when it comes to X's and O's, when it comes to rotations. Um, and I think he would be able to put together a really good game plan on both ends of the floor. But there are definitely concerns from a locker room standpoint. And this is something not about Nurse directly, but I wrote about at GoPHNX.com today I took a look back at Monty Williams' time here and the culture that he helped develop here, and it's just going to be different no matter who comes in. Like mm -hmm. without Monty, like obviously it goes deeper than some of his Montyisms and some of his folksy quotes or whatever that became a part of their mantra. Because book and campaign are going to be the only guys most likely left from that bubble team that really turned things around. It's been a lot of turnover in that regard. Mikhail Bridges, Cam Johnson, Monty, Jay Crowder, all of these guys who are influential in that are gone. Chris Paul and DA could be out in the next couple of months through a trade to upgrade the pieces they put around Book and KD. So this team could look very different. And with a new head coach, you're looking at a potential new culture and I know players are part of building that culture and if you have a talented roster it matters less but it is something to keep an eye on and I do think if you went to someone like Nick Nurse you really have to make sure he has the pieces to work with because I, I don't like Nick Nurse was never really hailed as kind of this culture guy in Toronto mm -hmm. like he was he was really good at X's and O's he had a great roster he won a title with that team and built on what Dwayne Casey had started um, but in terms of implementing his own culture, that was not really a storyline with him. So 